Hello, welcome to Excel at the office. My name's Adrian and today I'm going to share with you a handy tip that might save you a lot of time in Microsoft Word but also you can use this in text boxes in Excel um, and PowerPoint as well because there's um, and other applications because it's a feature in commonly across apps in Microsoft in the ribbon. So um, first of all uh, the problem laid out is thus. You've got a bunch of text you want to copy and paste. Unfortunately that text is in shouty mode i.e. upper caps or sometimes in um, caps for each first each word and so therefore it's a real pain to copy um, and paste that text. I've just copied this from a recent Formula One article just to get some text to demonstrate this. Um, it's a pain to either copy and paste it and then have to edit each word. It's very time consuming. Oh God, I want to change every item and letter and so on. Or indeed, if it's all like that, you're best off just not bother type uh, copying it and typing it out. Um, uh, so on. That's very time consuming. However, there is a, a quicker way which I'm going to show you right now and then after that I'm going to show you how to um, just start off your documents better again because um, uh, Microsoft Word doesn't start things very nice either. So save yourself a whole heap of typing, um, formatting, editing and get it looking like this paragraph by selecting the paragraph and up in uh, the home where most of your stuff you'll use most often is uh, there's a little feature called change case in the font section it looks like this drop down now I can choose my case that I want the font in so I don't want it capitalizing each word it's currently in shouty or uppercase uh, lowercase is somewhat a time saver but for this purpose I want it in um, sentence case so that does it most of the work for me but there'll be particular acronyms and abbreviations and uh, names that I need to just go in and manually change um, the bits and bobs so that gets it mostly correct um, similar if you've got um, each word capitalized I can go here and also change that to sentence case which only capitalizes oh. Well, that hasn't, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, let's do it lowercase first and then sentence case. There we go. So you have to kind of um, shortcut the system a little bit, try one and then the other if it's not working immediately. So then it gets, that capitalizes each uh, word after a full stop and gives you a good starter for 10 to save you having to uh, type out or. Um, yeah, manually edit a lot of text. I hope that's saved you a lot of time. Right, now, one thing I did in my first video on Microsoft Word, but I'll just remind you here to save you having to use that video. By default, Microsoft Word does things in this horrible Calibri 11, which is, uh, uh, I can't believe they do that because that's below accessibility readability size the minimum size should be 12 uh, all your documents start with that and some weird line spacing so that when you press enter it's uh, leaving massive spaces between and also it doesn't make use of the whole sheet so here's my workflow whenever I start a new document control a to select everything I'm gonna have everything in Arial which is a much nicer font I'm gonna have Arial 12 as a start I'm gonna have the um, margins of the paper a bit wider currently I'm in uh, what view am I in print layout view I find just not nicest for me so I've made the left and right margins a bit wider I'm gonna make the top and bottom margins a bit wider too just to maximize the page because 
if I if that means uh, a 10 page document is more likely to be uh, a nine page document um, if I've got epithet selected I'm going to sort out the line spacing as well so line and paragraph spacing by default it does it as 1.15 I don't like that I'm very particular I want it as single spaced uh, but I'm going to change some other things as well um, so uh, 1.08 it does it a very weird multiple um, I'm, I want things single spaced and I don't want spaces after each paragraph so click OK now everything's a lot more normal as I'd expect it if I want a space between paragraphs I'll press enter and then you can work from there doing it from the start is best because if you've got a load of um, bullet points and things like that in your um, text which start out neat when you adjust the um, page margins um, after selecting all that messes up those so it's best to do it at the start so that's a handy little bonus tip in this video but anyway the um, main thrust of this is changing the case of your text and that's a quick button in the font I hope you found this helpful please um, let me know what you think in the comments below give us a thumbs up and um, if you liked it and check out excelattheoffice.com um, for more tips and support uh, until next time take care